doesn't matter. Oh. Amazing. My amazing Mike Kelly exhibition. Oh, the nice. We could explore further, but it's getting there a bit muddy and... By the side of the fence, maybe. Yeah. Great. So when, when I come to a, or after a new city that I don't know before, I look for different empty areas or wastelands that could be interesting. You always, you often have wastelands along the railways, you have wastelands uh, along uh, channels or rivers. This, this gives a sense to a certain industrial area and uh, an area going through a um, de desindustrialization process that but generates a lot of wastelands. This, so some of the areas are waiting transformation, some have been constructed already, uh, some are going to be protected, and some are still in this process, like this one, for example. And this is the ones I would check. The ones so the one in the process? Is yeah. The yeah, the ones I'm looking for. And is it an, and act is it an activism or, or not? Does it have some form of My activism? work? Yeah. Of course, I, I, I do a lot of my work to stand against construction and be uh, see things from a different point of view of I just wanting construction. Yeah. But then uh, in that to sense you can stand against construction. Yeah, this has been yeah. my starting okay. point as a, as a yeah. young artist. So But the wasteland normally means there was a certain economic development or there was it, it the land had value, then ve the value is lost. Yeah. And then somehow slowly there is again a claim to make it economically viable. Exactly. Yeah, and the wasteland is uh, in two. Yes. Maybe yeah. there is economic value. Right? Yeah. But clearly, it's not the the direct uh, economic uh, investment uh, value, or um, uh, implementing a certain function. Mm -hmm. So the the whole plan that everything fix a function is uh, a bit undermined by these places that don't really uh, represent anyone's plan, and they don't fulfill. Any function. In that sense, the work is very much about uh, justness, and in that sense, it's not activist. So I guess it's a. I, I guess this question of activist, I think, is very interesting. If if I'm in France, it seems like I'm very political and activist. But if I'm in Germany, they say I'm a, not a, a very bad activist. I'm not an activist. So I don't. I guess I don't care. I, I care about the places. What is the work in the end to you? The work is a place. Uh, if a wasteland get protected as part of a project place exists. Yeah. People can visit it and be there without being aware it's my project or there is an artist behind. It doesn't change the thing if the place is there. But then there are other works like this Guides of Wastelands that we are discussing for the exhibition in the CCA. Uh, these are not um, wastelands that are protected, but I am just documenting uh, wastelands yeah. on a booklets or a series of uh, publications. But then with them, um, Guides of wastelands, very often I choose for wastelands that are threatened, that are going to be developed very soon. Uh, for example, the most clear would be the one, the guide of London before the Olympic, the wastelands affected by the Olympic. Yeah. And then the guides work as an invitation to hurry up and get to visit them because they would be changed very soon. Yeah, it's about the landscape that you are going to lose. Yep. That, are going to, that is going to disappear. It's very melancholic. Yeah, it's melancholic. Then it's also... It's not activist at all. No. Maybe we can go to the bushes. Yeah. Would you yeah. mind the mat a bit? Because this is a bit a very stereotypic uh, spot. Yeah. A kind of very um, cliche of a wasteland. This is a spot <laughs> I would never do. I would not even take my camera out. So I was early... Yeah, I don't do that. Uh, and I, in photography, it exists a lot. A lot, yeah. No. I, this is a photo I would not do. Just because I want to take something else. Mm -hmm. So to more sharp edit it. But what would be the photo then? The day? I, I think they were closer. Closer? Yeah, yeah, going to the bus. Huh? Closer yeah. to the... Yeah.
And th is, is the wasteland then also a kind of a ruin? They are very related, ruins and wastelands, I would say, in the fact that they don't necessarily fit a design or a plan and the idea of failure. Mm. But the ruin, I will explain a bit. I mean, they could be sometimes used in the same context. I mean, many people would call this place a ruin and I understand what they mean. But for me, how I see it, ruins are much more about the past on the memory and the yeah. wastelands are on this blank moment. They are much more predicted on the present and the future. They're not that, I mean, now is, it's a kind of ruin of nature. Hmm. Not, no. no. For me, a ruin would be the moment where the nature is already accessing the buildings. Yeah, yeah. So actually for me, ruin means uh, an architectural project kind of ta being taken over by nature. So, so it is very ready with nature. Romantic. Very much, yeah. But that's the thing about ruins. Uh, artists have been talk working, they have been working with ruins since, what, 1600? Uh, you know, Renaissance at least. Yeah. Maybe longer. So that makes sense. So that in that sense, ruins is very related to the past. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. And then, yeah, wasteland time. So much more exciting. <laughs> Is it, let's say, uh, uh, the part of society that exists that we should not forget? You know, that... Uh... Yeah, it's not even as a memorial thing uh, or as a monument, but I think it is about uh, the possibilities that has this piece of land that ca they can be enjoyed by everyone. Yeah. Also people from more far away, mentally for us, like a place where things can happen, but of course for the neighbors. And the guide is the is the is the way to show them the possibility. Yeah. But the kind of uh, let's say, the beauty of the photo is not why you take a place, no. No. Yeah. But the beauty of the place, I, it it matters, and yeah. the location. Yeah. Like these things of along the river, along the water, also the plan, the future plan, also can make a lot of sense to a place, the location in. Mm -hmm. In the sense of the city and, and then yeah what is a location where two rivers come together absolutely magic spot for example that kind of places yeah. I, I look for them but so that's already very aesthetic eh? and then and then yeah yeah and then but, but, but because i mean this how, how long are you doing or the guides and and, and what they change in that time <laughs> maybe I, mean, I was part half of the first one but maybe uh, my first was uh, it was 99 in amsterdam yeah. And then already people were warning me that this, I should do a website and not a publication because they would get outdated so fast and the city would change and these places would disappear. And if I do a website, I could update. But then I thought, well, it would stay as a document of how Amsterdam was in 99. And I think notions of environment are changing really fast, yes. very extremely fast. Yes. So I think this, I uh, uh, think most people would agree already in, in the city of Montreal. And then when, when it becomes art, because anyway, it becomes art. Uh, well, what happens then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was very problematic for me. A little bit at the beginning, it felt like I was designing too much. Uh -huh. But then uh, I, I uh, hung around a little bit, uh, other landscape architects working with wastelands, and then I realized uh, by far I designed less than them. So uh -huh. maybe you can call it design, uh, say, making them be part of an art project, but it's certainly less than them. That's for yeah. sure. Uh, because uh, when I say I do nothing, I really do nothing in a wasteland. So um, we exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. we keep it a bit. Uh, yeah. It's easier to be radical when you're an artist. Yeah, it's one of the advantages. Yes. As photographers, we also don't do anything yeah. <laughs> in the landscape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then there is this thing with photography that happen uh, to me when I look at photos, and like I often miss a bit of information, mm -hmm. and then I, that's. Also, reason to make the guides because yeah. I mean I'm gonna put who owns this land <laughs> if I do a guide of this way. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about the container terminal and that is planned. Yeah. I mean uh, the the questions on the present and the future are very important to this piece of art and then to write about them. And I must say it changes by city and by wasteland. But but when you look at these things, uh, you find very tricky issues. You find things uh, people are not talking about. 
Well, I always was interested in the present. I found more interesting, but also... Really, much more problematic. And much more unknown. And... Um, yeah, no, but, how, but maybe the question is, how do you see photography in, in, in the work? Is it it's necessary no, to have it? But yeah. not, not as, a, as a kind of specific photography, but it's it's important document and it's important to have the photographs in a certain way and, and they have a meaning. No, you, you got a point because in this work I do with wastelands, photography is, is important. I mean, I was taking photos, but with the wastelands I have to, and it has to be me. When I work, for example, with a video crew, I can see or someone else does the photo, I never like it. It's all about the sky, you get to the culture here now, and it's all like 80% of the image is it's like a landscape painting. And in my photos, already there is the other way around, 80% of the image is the land and the ground. But then I need more, I need the text to think. So, the... Uh, yeah, photographs and text, they often live together. So, uh, journalism has a strict relation, photography and texts, and... Um, just to know if you ever uh, thought about what the texts are for, uh, for the photographs or they are independent or a guide requires text and photographs or the photographs then they get uh, printed uh, I need the in other ways or uh, they stay in the guides. Yeah. And I need uh, both, but I need them to be a bit independent. I don't like uh, so much thank you, that they, uh, um, they are addressing each other. So bo they are both about the case account, but they have to be read or seen uh, in a different way. So I'm not so fond of this kind of thing, which is like uh, there is the container termini, terminal and the photo state yeah. and the terminal. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the <laughs> so I would say so talk about the container. Yeah, they're not There's no literal. literality in... Yeah. Uh, and now it rains again. It rains. Maybe <laughs> 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 that should be our stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's put for a copy or yeah. a bingo. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, if I have this kind of wall uh, bashes blocking yeah. me, I would just move like in diagonal so the photo is not perfect, but I think yeah. you have some... Of course. But actually I should ask what you would do, because I can learn with... <laughs> I'm no, also learning from photography. No, I find it interesting that you say it cannot be a wall, it has to cannot be completely full, there has to be a little bit of context, but still it has to be a lot of ground. <laughs> oh my god, I have a lot of ideas. Yeah. See, yes. I need to do my own photos. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I like to see ground. Yeah. But this place, uh, yeah, it would not work at all. This is so flat and here, yeah, the very west. We have seen it. <laughs>